workbook properties are the details about your workbook that you keep hidden from everybody else. Basically like who the author is of the workbook, the manager, the company, maybe the website. Things that you wouldn't display normally within the workbook and to make changes or add to the workbook properties, click on the office logo button, come down to prepare, go up and click on properties. Get this little pop-up here that says you can add the author's name of the workbook here, the title, subject, and you got some keywords. Looking at this, you can see that my keywords are separated by commas. And in fact, these keywords are searchable. Have you ever done a search for a document or an Excel workbook and you typed in, like let's say gummy bears, and it pulls up something like this, where you're looking at it and it says, well, the validation title doesn't have gummy bears in it. I looked throughout the whole document or workbook, there's no gummy bears in there. Why in the heck did this pull up? Well, look in the keywords because those are also searchable too and it might be within the keywords box here in the document properties. Now if you want to get a little bit more detailed than what you have here, in fact let me go ahead and type in my name as the author. After I type in some of the information, if I want to add more details to this, then I want to click on the document properties drop down arrow, click on advanced properties, you can get a little bit more detailed here for example. Let's say I had an editor that worked on this, select editor, and the value down here was Jane click add it adds her now as the editor so again this is something trackable that I don't want to see in my spreadsheet here but something I can track under the document properties you have the contents the statistics when it was created modified or last accessed the summary which includes the same fields as you have in your general properties but you have a few more fields like the manager company information comments things like that a hyperlink and then the general information when you're finished you can go ahead and click OK and then I want to close out of my general properties here and then be sure to save your work. Now the properties are not only accessible from your office logo button but when I close out of my workbook now the validation workbook is in my exercise folder here it's right here your properties are also accessible from a right click on the workbook and then go down to properties and here they are again we have when it was created modified and we also have the details Z's expenses, subject, profits galore, things like that. You can also make the changes within here as well. In fact, if you just click within here, you can delete some of the text and add anything else. And then when you're finished, go ahead and click OK and it'll save it. Now if you're like me and you're sending this workbook on to somebody else and you don't want your information tied to it, maybe it's because you don't want to be referred to as the expert on this document anymore or you change departments, you don't want people calling you about the expense reports anymore. What I want to do is I want to inspect the document. So I'll double click and open this up. Inspect the document to remove all personal information. Everything from the properties window. So again, office logo to prepare. Properties, we have all the information here. To get rid of it, click on office logo to prepare and inspect the document. And this is the box I want to look at. Inspects for hidden metadata or personal information and then after it inspects it and it finds it, which it'll find certainly right here, it'll give me the option to remove it all. So I'll uncheck everything else, click inspect and then it says it found something. Go ahead and click remove all, click close and it's gone. How about the advanced properties? Everything's gone. So I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the general window here. When you're finished, be sure to save your work. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.